welcome back to Clumsy Dog. So, um, this video here is the first one of the Broen Sear, and I've used it quite a bit since then, and I've learned a couple of things. Namely, this guy's comment right here. Big ups to this guy, man over here. Um, it's as easy as what he said there on how to control the temperature on this thing for long smokes and everything. Um, I think he's talking about with a slow and sear, but it absolutely works the same exact way with a bro and sear. After you get it up to temperature, like, like get it to about 225 degrees, leave the vents, all the vents wide open. Then once you get to 225, shut the bottom vent completely and you just leave the top vent open. If it starts getting a little hot, start shutting down the top vent a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. But what I've found is bottom vent closed, top vent open. It stabilizes and holds about 225 degrees. And the entire of this Broen Sear here is about, it's about six hours. I usually set my, my timer for me to come back out at the five hour mark. I'll knock the coals around, knock them down with my tongs pile them all up in one corner then add fresh ones lid back on don't mess with the vents and it's been really good the outside weather temperature for this the coldest i've done it was overnight when it got down to about this is summertime so this was it was about 75 degrees normally it's weather like this where it's really hot outside like i think today is like i don't know easily 90 something something like that but um, we're in the shade, so that's fine too. In the meantime, why don't you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so don't miss anything. So, so today we're gonna smoke a uh, tri-tip that I picked up at uh, Sam's Club. This is not the slowest here. This is not that expensive piece of hardware. This is a $25 hack that does very similar to that expensive thing. Now. If I had the slow and steer, would I use that? Yeah, absolutely, I would use the slow and steer. If I had a big, massive stick burner offset smoker, would I use that? Yeah, of course, I would use that. But I feel like maybe there's a lot of people like me out there where they like doing barbecue, but maybe they don't have the money or they're not quite sure if they want to invest all that money into doing it, you know what I mean? So this is a Weber kettle with a $25 hack but at the end of the day, I think this is really, really good. For this, uh, for this tri-tip though, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it like this because I, I don't, I only really expect this thing to really have to smoke for like maybe four hours or so. So even this might be overkill on the charcoal, but I don't think so. So I, I, I think I'm gonna hit right about the four hour mark. And I'm gonna keep bringing you out here and showing you how I fiddle and poke around in there to like make it work and everything like that but honestly I'm pretty sure you know how to poke at coals with some tongs you know wear a glove you know YouTube nobody's telling anybody to burn themselves Come on, we're all adults here don't touch anything hot I, I have about five or six pieces of charcoal warming up in my chimney over there I'm gonna just dump them down over in this corner then I'm gonna push some of these other ones over the top of it like that I'm gonna leave all my vents wide open until my temperature on the front here gets to about, well honestly it gets to 225. And then I'm gonna completely shut the bottom vents and I'm gonna leave the top ones open and it couldn't be easier than that. four or five pieces of lit charcoal down here and down there, there go vents wide open I'm not gonna use a water pan for this because honestly it's just not that that long of a cook and it is humid AF out here as the kids like to say all right, so we're about we're about 200 degrees now on it, and it's been maybe maybe 10, 15 minutes. I, I don't know. I haven't been. I I dumped a whole bag of charcoal, so we've been we've been cleaning up my mess so, over here. You don't need to see it. It's when the charcoal bag gets wet and you pick it up, it's just everywhere. So big problem. 
So it's about it's about 200 degrees now. I'm gonna go ahead and put the meat on there, and then when it gets to about 210, 215, 225, honestly, it all depends on if I'm paying attention or not. But definitely, when it hits 225, I'm gonna shut the bottom vents, and then we're just gonna let it ride. We're just gonna let it ride. the uh, the three hour mark and the um, temperature has it at 155 for the meat um, it's getting late so I'm gonna go wrap it in a uh, with a with a broth and some Worcestershire and stuff like that but back to the point of it really this is where we're at with the coals and everything at the three hour mark if you remember how much I had in there from from earlier you can see we're right at We've been bouncing in between the 225 and 250 mark the whole time. Bottom all the way closed. Top all the way open. And that's the coals. I feel like I could probably get another probably hour or so out of there, but if I need to add some more, just tuck it up underneath there. The wood's been running good and everything too. So, all right, let's go wrap it. Hey, I'm just dropping a line here from the editing table, but I did, I forgot to say it in the video, but we're actually trying and using some of Sam's homemade chicken broth that I'm just pouring in the wrap here with about two tablespoons of Worcestershire. And it made this pulled tri-tip absolutely insane. You have to try it. Can't recommend it enough. So, for this last little bit here, which again, that's what I'll do with my poker, is I'll just come here, kick the coals around a little bit, so that's what I got left. So, honestly, I believe I'll probably be able to finish this cook on what I've got there, but if I needed more, I'll come out here and I'll just dump some coals down in there, no problem. Um, for this last little bit in it, while we get it up there, I'm actually going to run this probably between 250 and 300 because they're wrapped up. They're not going to be getting any more smoke. We're just trying to get it super tender so that we can, you know, chop it apart and like, you know, pull it. Basically, we're making pull tri tip, you know. So, so for that, I'm going to open up this bottom vent here. I always like doing that, but I'm going to open up this bottom vent probably right about there. to the first little, uh, I don't know, what do you call that? Quarter mark or whatever, right there. And then we'll just let it sit, come back and see where it kind of balances out at on the on the old thermometer there. Now, of course, because we had the lid off, there's, there's gonna be a temperature spike, you know, because a bunch of air rushed in and everything, but it'll be, you know, by the time the thermometer catches up in the bottom. So basically, I'm gonna come back in about five minutes and see where it's doing with it, so. Um, but yeah, I don't plan to touch the top vent at all, just the bottom one, and um, we're good. All right, we've had the tri-tip wrapped for about an hour, hour and a half. Um, honestly, I lost track of time uh, mowing the grass, you know. But uh, all that's left now is to shred it, so come on, check this out. Mm -hmm. 